Hello, today is going to be a spring favorites video, something I have not done in a good while. Like always, whenever I do a, a favorites video, the first category we're gonna start off with is music. So the first on the music list is Billie Eilish's new album, When We All Fall Asleep, Where Do We Go? The overall feel of this album is dark, anti-pop, and a lot of bass. These are all things that I've come to love in music recently and I really enjoy this album and how she portrays the different elements of her style within the music. My favorite songs off this album are Bad Guy, Zanny, You Should See Me in a Crown, Wish You Were Gay, My Strange Addiction, and Listen Before I Go. Next on the list is Maggie Rogers' Heard It in a Past Life. Now this album, I have been waiting for it for a good two years now with ever since her ep came out and this album just the whole embodiment of heard it in a past life is just i strive to be able to produce that way in one day it, it's amazing this album just screams synth pop folk and i really like that type of music i'm just a synth pop lover all around i guess like the darker kind of synthy pop vibes i'm a big fan of my favorite songs off this album are overnight say it on and off falling water retrograde and burning now some honorable mentions usually i do an honorable mentions category if it's just like one song off of an album or if it's a song off of an ep or if it's just a single i really like so the first one is boys will be bugs by cave town this is just one of those songs that are like you can imagine it being live stupid stupid ugly ugly I don't, it's just a fun song to sing along to in the car next song is tell me by spencer sutherland this song production wise is why i love it this song just the beat and his harmonies and vocals it's like the male version of adele i don't know how to explain it, it it's pop all of this is mainly just like anti-pop basically i really recommend him if you're into big vocals while still having that cool billy eilish type of production in the back next on the list is bambi by hippocampus and fun fact i didn't know the hippocampus was a thing until I took my psychology class and I pronounced it as hippocampus like the band. So yeah, <laughs> that shows how much I know. This song, I, I love it because of the way the chorus is just mixing. <laughs> That's not how it goes. Something like that. I don't know how to explain that. And how he slowly slides into being more raspy and then he goes into like a more vivid vocal. I just love music. <laughs> Next on the list and last on the honorable mentions list is The King by Conan Gray. Now this one, I do like the the thump and the bass in the song, but I'm not really fond of the overall feel. I really like the lyrical content of the song, but it just seems like with this song, Conan went more mainstream than anything. Like he wanted to put out a single that sounded like a full on 2012 pop song. That, that's the kind of vibe I'm getting from it, but I, I listened to the song for one, it's Conan, two, it's the meaning behind the song. So now that we're done with the music section, we're gonna go on to the clothing section here lately i have been wearing hoodies a lot more often i just they're cozy and comfy and i find them when i'm in a time of need i just love hoodies a lot so the first piece of clothing on this list is the yellow Haley fam family hoodie this hoodie fits super well and it's just super comfy i like kind of larger hoodies so it was in the right size but it was kind of on the bigger side and i really love the quality and the color of the hoodie overall when people sell their merch Haley fam's prob probably hit it nail on the head I remember how much it was i want to say it was either 25 or 30 i'll put a little thing right here to tell you how much it was um and, and i'll link everything down in the description below if you want to buy it super high quality i've never had a hoodie this high quality before when i say high quality i mean like thick this isn't gonna wear out in tin washes or something like a hoodie from walmart i really recommend this hoodie if you're into this color of yellow or if you like Haley, i recommend getting this piece of merch from her next on the list is egg socks now i got these from h m i believe very warm i've been wearing longer socks here recently like the pattern ones because i normally just wear ankle socks and i don't really like uh longer socks because they're kind of hot 
not in that type of way <laughs> but they kind of like i don't like the feel of them but here lately i've been just folding them down but these egg socks why not add some pizzazz to your outfit with some freaking eggs on your ankles you know just do it just do it okay that's it for the clothing list now we're gonna move on to the lifestyle and usually what i mean by lifestyle sections is it'll be anything that can't fit into the clothing or music category so it's just like random odds and ends things the first one is a netflix show that i have really really enjoyed and i can't believe i forgot about it the first season came out in 2016 this show is called the oa and it's part two season two specifically oh my gosh this show is it's just just one fat mind bender if you're into psychological thrillers or puzzling tv series at all you are going to enjoy this show so much the story concept is beyond this dimension hint hint for those that actually watch the show i totally recommend watching this if you're that type of person that likes to be kept on their toes while you're watching a show or a movie but also like the breather moments that are kind of calm and settling and are filling in those plot holes it's very studio ghibli in that kind of sense as great story it kind of flows and builds up to this great climax but you have those breather moments along the way that kind of like let you take in the beauty of the show and the overall story of the OA. I could go on forever about this show. I, you have to watch it. Go watch it now. Don't watch me anymore. Put your phone down. Go log into Netflix and watch the OA right now. Okay, if you're not gonna go watch the OA, I'll continue on with my lifestyle category. So what's next is my planner that I recently just got. It's called the Brilliant Planner. The color and the overall aesthetic of this planner is probably the main reason why I got this planner along with the organization and how the planner is planned out. This planner is undated, which is what I prefer because I'm the type of person that I need a new notebook or I need a new planner every time something has changed dramatically in my life. So recently I just moved, recently I just got back into doing YouTube. And so I, I felt like I needed a refresher, a new planner. So I like getting undated ones because it allows me to use up all this space and not having to like skip the first 20 pages of the planner because I started the planner in March and didn't start using it in January, you know? So I, I like using undated ones because it gives me that freedom of being able to use the entire planner. Now, like I said, the setup of this planner is very organized and very minimal. I like planners that are very minimal and allow for creativity. It's a yearly, monthly, and weekly planner. And I would even say it even goes to daily because it gives you enough space to write out the times and things. I really recommend this planner, especially if you're a creator like me or just have a very busy schedule or if you're a college student. And it's not that big. It's very easy and light and you're able to carry it around. Another thing on the lifestyle list is my new room. I usually like to put my room on these type of lists because I am enveloped by my room. I use it as a big scrapbook. Basically, as you can tell behind me, I recently moved. So I had the opportunity to just get a huge refresher and just redecorate my entire living area. My room is super comfy to me and I love surrounding myself with the memories, like I said earlier, and color. It just helps brighten my day whenever I first wake up and I'm looking around like, oh, hey, I remember when I did that with that certain person. My room is far from being finished. It's still in the production stage. I'll get moods where I'm like, okay, I kind of want to decorate this part of my room. It takes time, like just like anything takes time, any project. As you can see from my past couple of videos, this little bit was not here. And I kind of wanted something to fill the space of my videos whenever I do them. Hopefully I'll have a room tour before I go off to college because I'll have to move again. It's just all ever changing. And the last thing on the lifestyle list is this bad boy. Now it's an iPad, it's just a regular iPad with Apple Pencil support. I sold my big drawing tablet, which is like a monitor, so I could get this iPad. And once I started drawing digitally on the iPad, I either draw on the iPad or I don't draw at all. I know that's bad for artists. You need to be able to be versatile with what you draw with. I just couldn't. I mean, I could draw traditionally on other mediums, but it was just like, if I needed to do digital art, if I needed to do graphic design, it had to be on an iPad. I just love the overall experience of Procreate. That is probably the main reason I ended up buying an iPad again. Procreate is probably the sole reason I bought this iPad. I just 
the overall experience of Procreate and using an iPad and an Apple Pencil is non-beatable by a, like a monitor tablet. Get this iPad if you're on a budget and you still want to try digital drawing. It's about half the price of an iPad Pro and it works just as great. I'm still able to draw and that's all that matters. That was all for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I know this was kind of quick. It's something that I haven't done in a while. I just enjoy putting out like what I like this month or just overall what I've been up to lately and it's a good way for me to look back on things and be like oh I liked that. My whole channel is just one big documentation of how I am in this certain moment or how I am feeling in this certain place in time. Anyway I hope you guys are doing okay. It's nice talking to you again and I am sending you my appreciation and love and I will see you guys this upcoming Friday with a brand new video. Bye.